Hello, good morning, and welcome to the next video in the series that I've been doing on DEXs or decentralized exchanges. So what are you going to learn in this video? In this video, I'm going to answer the number one question that I've been getting asked most recently, and that is, I've just withdrawn my liquidity pair or LP tokens from a farm and I can't find them. And specifically, this is going to be dealing with liquid driver, spirit swap and spooky swap. Now, Here's the short version of the answer is on spooky swap. If you were to click on liquidity, and this is where all the confusion comes into play. Here's where you create the liquidity, but it says my potions up here. And it's kind of like this sort of innocuous name that doesn't really indicate that this is where your liquidity pair tokens will be once they're either created or withdrawn from a pool. Now, you can see here that I don't have any liquidity and that's because I have no LP tokens that aren't either uh, already staked or have been split up and used for other things. So again, this is kind of the short version and the same thing is true over here on Spirit Swap. You would simply come to the Home tab. You could click on Liquidity and right down here below, you see where it says No Liquidity Found. This is where you're going to look. Now, that's the short version of the video. I'm going to go into a little bit more detail as to how you wind up at these spots from the liquid driver farm. All right. So before I do this again, this is sort of the abbreviated version. I'm not doing any investing here or anything. This is just sort of a, a helping tutorial, hopefully, that's going to guide you and get you to your LP tokens after you've either created them or you withdrawn them. So again, all the information provided uh, here is on an as is as is basis for educational entertainment purposes only. I'm not responsible for anything uh, that may happen to any liquid uh, assets, fees, tokens, um, that you incur or lose. Uh, this is not investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. All right. So here's typically what happens is users find the liquid driver site and they come in here and they take a look at some of these farms and they say, this is amazing. Now it's very easy to get into the farm. You, you don't see a zap button here, but the zap button is what you would see if you'd approve the farm and you had some FTM you were looking to invest. So you would zap that FTM in, it automatically creates that liquidity pair, the LP tokens. And sometimes you'll hear me say liquidity provider tokens, the same thing, you're providing liquidity to the pool with those tokens. So then you want to withdraw, right? So let's say you've done the LQDR FTM pool for a month or two, you decide, hey, I want to get just the LQDR and the FTM split so that maybe you can do something else with the LQDR or something else with the FTM. Like maybe you're going to lock up the LQDR as XLQDR, or you're going to take the FTM and you're going to run off and do something else somewhere in the phantom ecosystem. So there's a withdraw button that you'll see here. And the same button exists if you look at spooky swap, or I should say a similar uh, button will exist. If we were in one of these pools here, uh, there'll be a minus sign so that you could withdraw from the pool. It'll be like a button up here that says withdraw. And it's the same sort of process every time. On Spirit Swap, it's sort of the same thing as well. You can see they've got their farms here. And uh, let's see, it doesn't think my wallet's connected. So if I connect my wallet up, hopefully it's going to give us a little bit more information here. So what you would do is you would approve it if you're going to invest and you can see harvest and then they have a minus sign where you can actually withdraw your LP tokens or your LP stake from whatever the pool is. Now, the biggest issue, like I said, is here on Liquid Driver because you can see the name of the pools is Spirit Swap or the name of the farm here. This is the Spirit Swap farm. Here are all the pools in this farm that you can stake your LP tokens. And then you've got Spooky Island. Now this is tied to Spooky Swap when you withdraw the liquidity provider pair, right? And then you've got your Beethoven uh, down here below. So the main focus here is going to be on the Spirit Swap and the Spooky Swap. So you've invested here, maybe you zap some FTM in, you want to get the LP tokens out and then split so that you have them. You'll notice there's nowhere on Liquid Driver where you can do that. You have to click on the bridge link here from Liquid Driver, which would take you over to Spirit Swap. And then here is where you would be able to find those LP tokens. Again, you click on Home, you click on Liquidity, 
And make sure you're very patient here. I've had this take up to 60 seconds to load before to show me the liquidity provider tokens that are here. So that is where you would find after you've withdrawn the LP tokens from the pool on whatever farm it is in the spirit swap, right? And we'll go back to liquid driver in the spirit swap farm here. Those will show up on spirit swap and take a look. It is still trying to calculate the LP tokens that I might have. This is where they would show up and there's a button that says remove. You would click that and then that is going to split the LP pair back into the native tokens. And again, if you were on Liquid Driver and you're participating in these pools here on Spooky Island and you go to do the split, you would come over here to Spooky Swap, click on Liquidity, click on My Potions, and here is where you would find those LP tokens. All right, well, that is all I wanted to do is make sure that I covered that component of investing in the Spirit Swap and Spooky Swap farms that you'll find on Liquid Driver. Because again, once you go to withdraw it, the number one question I'm getting is, okay, I'm on Liquid Driver, where is everything? And the answer is, it's not on Liquid Driver. <laughs> you're gonna find it on Spooky Swap for the uh, Spooky Pools, and then you're gonna find it on Spirit Swap for the Spirit Pools. And to answer the next question I typically get in response is, okay, well then why wouldn't I just go stake it in one of the pools over on Spirit Swap or over on Spooky Swap. Remember, when you're staking here in all of these uh, different pools, you're earning LQDR. When you're staking over, and then in some cases there are little incentives like the, um, what is it, the FTM pills pool, you're earning uh, pills and LQDR. So here when you're investing, you're earning LQDR, maybe some secondary tokens. On Spooky Swap, same thing, you're earning boo. Right on Spirit Swap, if you're using their pools, you're earning uh, Spirit, right? And if I was to come over here and go to the farms, you can see that it's going to give you the percentage and you're earning Spirit. All right, well, that's going to do it for this video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Some great questions lately. That's all I've got. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video.